Hello, today just a quick review of this Army Painter self-healing cutting mat that you may have seen in some of my previous videos. This is a must-have if you share your hobby space with anything, or if you just want to have a uniform surface for building on and painting on and things like that. So what this is, is it's about the size of a standard piece of paper. You can see the um, markings on it. We've got about 8 inches there, so there's a little more. It's about 8 and a half, you know, 11, so, so a little more. So maybe it's a hair larger than a standard piece of paper. I just put this on my desk, and I do my building and painting on it. I don't have to worry about, you know, if I have a miniature that's maybe has some wet paint, and I just put it on here, you know, it's going to get paint on this mat. The idea is not to keep this pristine. The idea is for this to protect your surface, uh, your desk, or whatever, and to have a consistent place to kind of work on. I have to say, the thing I really like the most about this, the thing I use the most about it, is actually this feature over here with these different base size guides. And that's because I'm a little bit weird, and I actually put all of my bases in this big old base box. And so what I have is just all the bases in these different compartments, and these are ones that are waiting for models. So I have models to build for all these. And if I, if you know, one of them gets in the wrong compartment, or I mean, the compartments aren't even labeled. Well, how big is this base? I can say, okay, you know, is it a, is it a thirty-two? It looks kind of like a thirty-two. Yeah, it's a thirty-two. You know, it's not a, it's not a thirty. I do Games Workshop. They don't have thirty. You know, but it's definitely not a twenty-five. Some of these other sizes, like I have no idea what size this is. I knew what size the other, that other base was, but if I stick it on here, say, like, oh, it's the smallest circle, it's a 40 mil base. Okay, what about, you know, this one here? Oh, that's, you know, the next circle, that's a 50 mil base. And so then when I'm going through the instructions for my miniatures, when it calls for a certain base size, I'll be able to do that nicely and just get it out of here. So I use that feature a lot. I do cut on this, so, like, I have one of these, you know, um, you know, cutting hobby knives, and I do cut on here, and you can cut onto it pretty good. They say self-healing. I'll say I've never had a problem with, you know, the cut not, um, you know, not kind of filling back in a little bit, or at least, you know, it's not going to destroy the thing to cut on it. The other thing that's really handy, and this is, uh, especially if you film videos for YouTube, so that's up to you, I do, uh, you might choose not to, or you might choose to, on the back side, if we flip it over, so this is the back side of it, it's got a nice black um, backdrop for filming. So I like to film on a black backdrop generally as much as I can. I've got my black even behind it here. And that's just to, you know, kind of keep the videos looking hopefully nice for you all. So you can have a nice uniform surface to be watching them on. So I really like this side. It's got the little crosshair in the center there if you want to center it. It's got the Army Painter logo. So that's kind of fun to have on there as well. But just a quick review of this, I would highly recommend getting one of these. These are like less than 10 bucks at your local game store. Just pick one up, you know, use it to build your hobby uh, stuff on, you know, use it to assemble on, have a little, you know, when your paint's drying, you can put somebody on there, you don't have to worry about it. Yeah, like, I got glue on this, you don't have to worry about, oh, where did I get glue? It's just on the mat, right? It, it's, nothing's going to really stick to this. Like, if you glue something, you put it down, and, like, the glue gets on there and you pull it off, it's not really going to stick. That's kind of nice as well. So I really have to give this a uh, high recommendation. This is a, a nice product. It's good and thick, so, you know, I don't know about how thick. It's at least three or four mils thick, uh, maybe even five. Uh, well, that's definitely, that's definitely probably about three-eighths of an inch or so. It's nice and, it's nice and thick. It's semi-flexible, but still rigid enough that if I hold it on one side, it's not completely drooping down. I don't know what else to say about this one. This is a great product and inexpensive. So definitely if you're looking for a consistent space to be putting your hobby stuff on, consistent surface, definitely look into this. Like I said, available at your local game store. I would pick one up. Thanks for watching.